today, uh, you know, we are talking about, I was reading Jeremy Alexander's book. And if you don't know who this dude is, you got to check him out. Incredible guy. He just, uh, uh, the goodness of his heart came and poured into the attendees at my event called ULW Unleash the Leader Within Six back in Nashville just this past week as I'm recording this today. His book, Money Grows on Trees. It, it does grow on trees. And uh but he had a passage in here or uh, he had a quote from a book called Course of Miracles, which is an intense book um that I haven't actually read. Um our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. So chew on that a bit, right? Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. And why, why would that hold true? Well, we all have an identity. We all have created an identity around who we are based on a lot of things, right? Based on our circumstances, our environment, how we were brought up, where we live, what we do for a living. Um, and it's also based on beliefs that we have, beliefs that we were trained, taught, and educated. And, you know, feelings of what we truly deserve and are, and are worthy of. And that really kind of helps to create the life that we live. And it's really has helped create the results that you have right now because you're worth and you deserve in your mind what you currently have right now. If you thought that you worth, were worth and deserved more, you would have gone out and created more for yourself, right? So um, we, all, we all know that we're truly capable of, of a lot of greatness. And a lot of times we spend, our, for many, our lifetime uh, convincing ourselves otherwise because we're comfortable with where we're at because it that does that thought doesn't align with everything that other people have been telling us for a long time trying to hold this down right like the thought that we're capable of so much more doesn't align with what everybody else has been telling us and if everyone else has been telling me something different then I must be the crazy one well, I'm here to have you consider that you are not, that they're the crazy ones and that they can believe whatever story they want, but it's time for you to believe the story that truly serves you again and come back to becoming the person that is truly powerful beyond measure because you are. So create a new identity for yourself. It starts with how we talk to ourselves up here, the thoughts that we believe to be true because those thoughts that we believe to be true create our current reality if you want to create a different reality you got to start believing some different thoughts which means you got to start telling yourself different stories and thinking different thoughts and and uh holding on to the ones that really serve that for you so uh it's a uh it, it's an interesting concept but uh you know it's one that the work needs to be done first before we can go out because we're never going to go out and do the things that will help create a create more money for us in our world so we could help more people if we don't believe we're worthy of it we just won't align ourselves with that because and we'll never take action on it because we're telling ourselves a convincing story that otherwise so that's what i got for us today is to uh to strip yourself of that old person that's holding you back and to to start to create this new identity that will that will help you to truly realize your true capabilities, your true capacity, which is one of being powerful beyond measure. Because you truly are. And there's no reason that you can't go out and create whatever it is that you want to create in your life. Uh, some powerful questions that Jeremy Alexander Newsom asks. And I love that he has his full name on here. And he's, you meet him, he's like, hey, say your name, man. Your name is so powerful. And I agree. Um, but, you know, the questions that he asked in here is, what are you worth? What do you deserve? How much money do you want? If you could have all the money in the world, how much how much would be enough for you, right? Some powerful questions that we stop asking ourselves along the way 
And uh, those questions, once they're once they're asked, opens your eyes to different possibilities and start to think differently. And what would I need to do? What would be required for me to go out and create that? And you can start getting into action. And once your eyes are open to it, and you believe that uh, there's no reason that that you can't have that for yourself in your life, then you start seeing things differently, and you start seeing more opportunities where you didn't see opportunities before. So that's what I'm going to leave you with today. You're, you're all powerful beyond measure. And so let's go.